hey, if you're looking to get a rough estimate of the value of your business and you, you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a certified appraisal yet, you're just trying to get a rough idea of what range your value, the value of your business could be in, uh, then I have a new trick that I want to show you um, using ChatGPT. This is OpenAI's uh, AI chat tool, and it can do a lot of really cool things, including analyze a set of financial numbers that you give it and uh, follow a valuation method um, and, and produce a valuation calculation following different methods that you ask it for. Um, <clears throat> so there are three commonly used, maybe there's more than three, but three of the most commonly used uh, valuation methods are the discounted cash flow method, the multiple of earnings method, and the book value method. And these will all produce different valuation results, so probably give you some sort of range for your business. Um, you know, it's probably uh, at least worth this much and probably not more than this much. And that's, that's kind of how I would think about um, using this tool. But uh, it's really pretty cool. I want to show you how it works. And um, I'm going to use one of our financial projection templates. Uh, I'm specifically using our restaurant uh, projection template here in this example. Uh, but we have about 70 or 80 different financial projection templates for all sorts of different industries and business models. And all of them uh, produce the same structure of tables and charts uh, and financial statements that you're going to need to be able to, uh, to produce a valuation here with ChatGPT. So uh, I am going to just show this example and we'll put a link in the description of the video below to uh, all of our templates so you can uh, go grab one of the templates, create a set of projections. Once you have that done, then you can follow this process I'm going to show you to get a rough uh, valuation for your business. So let's do that now. Okay, so I've already filled this model out again with uh, a set of projections for a restaurant, right? And um, the first uh, valuation method I want to look at is the discounted cash flow. So in order to uh, produce a discounted cash flow valuation, you need to have forecasted cash flows out into the future. And then the method is going to discount those to a current present value of the business. So we have this five-year projection here. And I'm going to just copy this table here. So I just highlight that and hit Control C. And I've already pulled together a Word document here uh, where I've started with the prompt, the three different prompts here, um, estimate the value of a restaurant using the discounted cash flow method based on the following data. So I'm just going to paste what I copied in there. And then we can just copy this whole thing. And the formatting, uh, ChatGPT is really good about the formatting. It doesn't set too picky. So I can just paste that into ChatGPT here. And if you don't already have an account, you'll need to get an account at openai.com. Uh, um, but if, once you already have an account, then you'll just uh, paste that into the chat window and watch it do its thing. Uh, so it's going to tell us now about, about the process of the discounted cash flow method. It's going to show us our kind of the, um, uh, the equations and, and what you need to consider and kind of show its work. And it's saying it's going to use a discount rate of 10%, and that can be different depending on um, you know, your industry and the, the current market conditions. And it's assuming a perpetual growth rate of 2%, so long-term growth of 2%. So now it's saying the uh, using this approach. So it tells you all about the approach, and then using this approach with the data that we gave it. This is based on the given data and assumptions. The estimated value of the restaurant using the DCF method is approximately 2.4 million. All right, so pretty cool. Um, what we can do now is take a look at uh, our multiple of earnings method. Now, the multiple of earnings method, um, what we're doing here is we're applying an industry multiple to your earnings. And so really what we need, all we need to do is provide it with one year of data. Now, I've tried this by producing or putting in all this, all five years of data. And it actually, um, it did produce kind of a value for each year, um, although it did get a little bit confused. Uh, and it then added all of the year's uh, valuations together, um, which is not what we want. Um, because uh, if you're selling a business, you are going to sell it based on the earnings in that given year that you're selling it. So let's just say we're looking to sell this business, you know, in this, this first year. And here's kind of what we expect the financials to look like when we sell it. So I'm just going to copy just this section. And I'm going to go back to our Word document here. And 
come back to ChatGPT and say, now, and then copy that. So I'm saying, now estimate the value of a restaurant using the multiple of earnings method based on the following data. And so it's going to go through that same process and, uh, and kind of tell you about the, the method that it's using, the calculations it's using. It's going to, in this case, assume a valuation multiple of five times EBITDA. Now, you will want to, to, to fact check that, right? Like, you want to make sure that that makes sense for your industry. Don't just take the AI's uh, recommendation as, uh, as uh, ultimate truth here. But... Um, Typically, what I found is it seems to pick out reasonable ranges for its multiples um, and its discount rates. It has to make some assumptions, and it seems to do a pretty good job of staying within reason normally. Um, so based on a, a 5x multiple, which probably seems a little high for a restaurant, but 5x multiple and a, and a EBITDA of 87,000, we're getting a value of 436,000. Um, so you can see, based on, you know, we've got the same data essentially here in one scenario, the discounted cash flow method is giving us a value of 2.4 million, and this is giving us a value of 436,000, right? Um, I think what you're going to find is that depending on your industry, you're going to have kind of standards that are used. Um, you know, maybe in a tech business, a discounted cash flow uh, method is more common, and a multiple of earnings business, uh, valuation method is probably more common for a Main Street business, a, a restaurant business like, like this. Um, <clears throat> so our last option um, is to look at a book value method, and in order to do that, we need to grab the balance sheet data. So I'm going to come over here and go to our balance sheet summary, and I'm going to say, okay, I just want to look at, we just need the first year, um, so let's say we're selling it again in the, in the first year, so based on this balance sheet data, we're going to copy that, paste that down here. And then copy the whole thing again. And we'll see now the book value method. Again, telling you about the process of the book value method. And then using that given data, the net book value for this business based on the balance sheet data that we gave it is 88,074. And again, it's giving you all the caveats of you know what to what to watch out for, right? And uh, what caveats to consider. So, again, the point of this exercise is not to say um, you, you can see there's a huge range, right? Eighty-eight thousand up to two point four million. So, um, how helpful is this? I think the thing that you will uh, need to do is um, understand what valuation method is commonly used for your industry. If you have questions about that for your industry, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. We could try to uh, give you some guidelines on that. Um, but I think a quick Google search uh, will probably help you find what is commonly used in your industry in terms of evaluation method. Um, if you use a multiple of earnings, that's probably a safe one for most businesses uh, to use. And then what you need to ask for is what, what's the multiplier for your industry? And each industry is going to have a different multiplier for a multiple of earnings method. You, you can ask ChatGPT to, you know, uh, you can give it the data and say, um, do a, you know, value this, this business with a 4x, you know, multiplier, um, and it can do that for you as well. So you can feed it more data um, to get more precise if you'd like. Uh, but anyway, I hope this has been helpful. I thought this was really interesting, uh, just as a, as a way to get a quick feel for what the value of your business might be. Um, quick, free way to do it. So uh, with that, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. Thanks.